Now this is the site at Port Curtis. I've done the auger holes, a little bit of clay on top over many of the sand. I'll show you the samples, I've got some sitting in the back of the truck in a minute. An old mate Mark here, is very helpful, he's, he's got the, uh, <laughs> the tractor out and <laughs> the wife <laughs> offsiding who he's verbally abusing. Because uh, it's a water pipe <laughs> where she's bossicking in the grass. <laughs> There's a water pipe there. But anyway, um, he's been kind enough to fire up the, the tractor and wipe all the grass off for me so I can do my resistivity test, which you can see I've laid out now in the direction which is parallel to the side road, Harvey, I think, yeah, Harvey Street. Um, yeah, so it's a level side grass. There's a fairly medium large tree on the fence line over there, and around here we've got a large tree just past the end of the lease, just outside the fence line. Uh, going back to the samples, we've got this layer of really hard, well, it's baked dry, it's clay on top. It's only about average of about 600, which we're not sure whether it could have been a bit of fill, but doubt it. And then we went into the sand. That went down to six metres. About six metres, um, it's hard to get even more difficult to auger. And I found that there was a clay sand, which was very dense. Uh, got good first penetrometer readings. Check with Bruce, he's happy enough. Seven metres is adequate. So we'll get the resistivity test done and turn the tile for home.